In this tutorial, we will teach you how to trace in Excel. In this worksheet, we have calculated the total and average for each group separately and for both of them collectively. So basically, all cells in the sheet are connected with each other. To know which cell is connected to what, you can use the Trace Precedence and Trace Dependence options. Select a cell and go to the Formula bar on top. Move over to the Formula Auditing section and click on the Trace Dependence button. With that done, notice that cell B4 is contributing to cell H4, B10, and B11, respectively. Now let's move over to cell E19, which is a part of the Group 2 total. This time, let's click on the Trace Precedence button. This will show which cells are contributing to the calculation in this cell, so we can see that cells E13 and E18 are being used to calculate E19. You can print these precedence and dependence arrows as well. Notice how they appear in the print preview as well. If you want to remove these arrows, go to the Formula Auditing section and click on the Remove Arrows button. If you want to select all direct and indirect dependent cells, then press Control shift ellipses You can also use the shortcut key Control shift ellipses to select direct and indirect precedence. If you remove some of the data from the sheet, the cells which were dependent on those cells will start showing you errors. Click on any error, move over to the Formula Auditing section, and click on the Error Checking button. From the drop-down menu, select the Trace Error option. With that done, you can see that the values of cell B13 to D13 were being used to calculate cell H13. You can trace out all the errors by using the Trace Error option.